every week I end up giggling and you end up, oh, the humanity. Oh, I can't take it. Not One thing, I'm not wearing my hat. Look at the chat, too. Uh, I can't wear my hat. It's it's this thing is on. Yeah, he's wearing a headset. He put the hat on on over the headset or the headset over the hat. What happened there? You went Ooh, darkness. Uh, I don't know. We my webcam is adjusting to the hallway light back there. Uh, all right. Well, the stories this week, magical, magical things. And we're going to start off with probably my favorite thing. I, I, I it's going to be very difficult to top this story is what I'm saying. But first, let's get the intro going. Fingers crossed that this actually works, people. Are you breaking stuff? No. Yes, a little bit, but only my own stuff. Oh, and it didn't even, it wasn't. I was trying to get out the, the monkey hippo, the mippo, and I got Cajun hippo instead because they're both purple and I'd have to move my light and forget it. She has a collection, man. You she has don't an even. army of hippos. Yes. All right. So without further ado, cross your fingers. Each week. There we go. Catherine goes out. The worldwide interwebs finds all sorts of horrible stuff and brings it back here for a segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And like I was saying, this is, is one of my favorite things in the world. Because I love monkeys. And my favorite primate in the entire world is also the only poisonous mammal. The slow loris. Or as I like to call them, the lowland small ear mogwai. They are awesome little creatures. What they do is they have poison glands in their armpits and they'll lick those in their mouth. They have poison bite. So why am I talking about this? I'm going to give you the story first before I reveal it to everybody else because it is magical. Um, these guys did the one thing with a, with a loris you should never, ever do. Make out with them? Close. <laughs> oh god man. I feel like you probably shouldn't do that either man. <laughs> oh, is that what that fucking thing is? that is a loris yes they're the cutest eyes they are they, if, you, if you see them in, the, in moving they're, they're adorable man tried to fly to India with monkey in pants oh god that headline <laughs> that is the best headline I am so happy right now. This Apparently is the I'm covered by the Justin TV logo. You are. Uh, you are partially covered by it. It's, well, like, it's like covering up part of your hair. Yeah, oh, well, you people will survive that. Uh, it's not going to be on the recorded bit, so don't worry about it. Um, so, yes, but, uh, this is uh, I beautiful. Custom authorities in India have arrested a man who was attempting to board a flight in New Delhi with an endangered monkey in his underwear. Not just his pants, his underpants. Again, a place you do not want to put the only poisonous mammal on Earth. Um, security personnel found the monkey in his underwear while frisking the transit passengers. Which brings us to the first problem. Um, what do they do when you get on a plane? They pat you down? Yes. Well, not everywhere. Yeah, not everybody. But but one does... I have questions. Right. One, hmm. why was he smuggling the monkey? Was he hoping to oh. to sell it? Or just or just was he like a really big fan of the monkeys? I have an answer. Really I have an answer. The 17 centimeter loris is a type of monkey native to India and Southeast Asia and is seen by some as possessing aphrodisiac qualities. How do you That's use not how okay. Here's the thing about that. You don't you, it's not like uh head on. You don't apply it to <laughs> <laughs> Monkey on apply directly to genitals. <laughs> That's the other thing. When they were patting him down, was he be like, "Sir, do you have a monkey in your pants?" You just happy to see us. Well, my question is: Was the monkey sedated? How did they think they were going to get through an international flight 
with a live fucking monkey in their pants without anybody noticing, without that thing starting to fucking crawl around, without it making squeaky noises. What were they going to tell people? It's it's not like a ferret. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to move. It's a living thing. I, 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 that's what I'm thinking. I, I really hope this thing was sedated. <laughs> Yeah. God, not for his sake, for the monkey's sake. I guess just be like, you know what? Stay away from the hookers in this country, man. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> and just, just look at, look at that face. He is adorable. He's precious. I'm gonna put him on the big screen because he's precious. Look at that. I would feel weird with those big, squishy, red grape-like eyeballs touching any part of my person. <laughs> um. Well. Someone, this one's not quite as awesome. And have they not seen Outbreak? <laughs> Don't smuggle small primates. Then Dustin Hoffman gets involved and nobody's happy. <sighs> yeah, I, hate, I, I love and hate that movie, partially because how many people are stupid in that? Yes. Yeah. It's one of those <laughs> movies that depends on people being stupid for the plot to proceed. Speaking of which, this is one of oh, those. Oh, goody stupid for the plot to proceed and sort of related to our first story closer to home however colorado woman arrested for shoving chihuahua down her pants remember when they would just shove beef down there now it's living things is this a fetish <laughs> now i was already dead <laughs> At least i love the this news headline down in pants arrest down in pants. Oh, oh. Police in Longmont, Colorado have arrested a woman on suspicion of animal cruelty after she allegedly stuffed a chihuahua puppy down her pants during a domestic dispute. Now that's just insulting. She reportedly agreed to leave the premises but wanted to take her dogs with her. She was intoxicated because who among us has not gotten drunk and put a chihuahua down our pants? Well, she was just thinking she had heard the chihuahuas you know, can create an aphrodisiac. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe she was just really turned on by the Taco Bell dog. And maybe she thought the chihuahua was cold because they're always shivering. Have you seen a chihuahua? They're always like. <laughs> <laughs> the good news here is the puppy was not hurt. I would hope not. But you want to leave. How would the puppy be hurt? You do understand how lady parts work, right? There's nothing there that's going to cause you harm. I know, but if she had the, the, if head, anything, the head. She would get hurt because puppy has claws and teeth. But have you seen. I make a bad joke. <laughs> Have you seen a chihuahua's big old head? You try and put it in there, it get hung up on the belt buckle, it kind of choke on the waistband. They, you know, they don't fit through quite properly. In where? In pants. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you were bringing that guessed whole, my joke. <laughs> I thought you were bringing that a whole other place, and I was like, look. <laughs> I don't think she actually stuffed the chihuahua up her hoo-ha. Still, I was going to make the, you ever see the movie Teeth? Yes. <laughs> We're getting oh, weird I'm a, up in I'm here. A person and you were and Nash was worried that this would be too blue for me. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting weird up in here tonight. <laughs> but yeah, if, if you want to keep your dogs, if you love your dogs, don't put them in your pants. Well, well, to be fair, it said that she was like drunk and whatnot. She probably, you know, was trying to carry all her stuff. And didn't have somewhere to put the dog while carrying all her stuff. So she figured, well. You know what? I think it'll be safe right here. Exactly. I don't need to carry the stuff. You shut up. I can put the chihuahua anywhere I want. It's my fucking dog. I thought, I'm sorry. I thought this was America. I thought this was America. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I thought it was America. I put chihuahua in my pants. It's America. I mean, really, if you can't even stuff a dog down your pants anymore, what have we become? Well, more animal hijinks this week because we just got a ton of it. That's like the theme of this week. You know when, what? It's better than penis week. Penis week hurt. <laughs> when I show you this headline, the what this headline goes on the screen as if the channel doesn't go crazy already. Um, they're going to go crazier. Busted for trying to board a plane with 27 snakes. Yeah, and they're already saying it. Yeah. 
I am tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Thank the you, question Mr. is, did this guy tie them up in um, pantyhose like the last guy? Yeah. Hope not. Um, Brazilian man was arrested for trying to board a flight at Orlando International Airport in Florida while carrying yeah. 27. It was in pantyhose, 27 snakes that he'd wrapped in pantyhose. Stashed away. Why? 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 It's not X-ray proof. I don't know. So maybe somebody told him it was X-ray proof. That's not how that works. Um, stashed away inside stereo speakers. Why? So at first he put them in pantyhose, and then he put them in stereos. Yes. I mean, I'm Just guessing the pantyhose is like to immobilize them, but it's still porous enough for them to breathe. And this, this is. Uh, Mateus Del they, Maso. They were they were garter snakes. <laughs> oh. Well played, computer Ronan. Well played. Oh. <laughs> I gotta say, this is Mateus Del Maso, and we're gonna put him on the big screen because he's looking into your soul. He has kind of a uh, an, he's, uh, Edward from Ed from what was it, Edward? Yeah, yeah from, from Twilight vibe to him. He does. He yeah, does look like I Edward was going to say he looks kind of like Daniel Radcliffe's redneck older brother. It's like they're blended together, isn't it? Yeah, like you morphed the two of them and then fed them a lot of Twinkies. It's like someone crabbed Edward and Harry Potter together and oh my God, someone's already writing that book. Before he was Edward, he was Cedric Diggory. True, true. Just saying. Shit's getting weird. here. Anyway, so, um... You get the fanfic with the Cedric and Harry slash fic and then the Empreg. We're on this thing. Uh, Del Masso purchased the serpents at the National Reptile Breeders Expo in Daytona Beach, Florida. He admitted he was going to carry the snakes, which are valued at about $10,000, into Brazil and breed them for commercial purposes. He did not have the proper authorization, obviously. One ball python, seven boa constrictors, and 19 color morph corn snakes. If they were worth that much money, why not just go through the proper channels? I know, right? This is not how you save a buck. This this is not. This, I know the economy is a little screwed up, but not how you save a buck. Hmm. And on top of that. Do you know the problem Florida has with snakes right now? Yes. They have so many snakes, so many big constrictor python snakes. And fucking anacondas and shit. That there are whole sections of the Everglades that are devoid of rabbits, foxes, possums, deer, and amazingly enough, alligators. These snakes are eating everything. So my question is, why did he go buy them? He could just go out in the woods and find them. And that's to say nothing of the fucking fish that walks on land that people imported that's eating chihuahuas and shit. Yeah, it's all going snakes. to hell. Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> <laughs> if he really wanted to save a buck, didn't want to go pay for the, you know, save a buck on the procurement because goddamn, you throw a rock in Florida, it's going to hit a snake. <sighs> Yet another reason not to go to Florida. I know, right? It's Don't like, you have enough reasons by now? Yes. Although I've been invited to a convention in uh, in Florida for next year, so we'll see. Where is it located? Don't do it. Don't I can't do remember. It. Is it Orange City? I do not remember. I think it was Tampa. Because oh, I oh, just they don't know about the snakehead fish. Really, people, you call yourselves the internet. I just found a reason for you not to go to Orange City. Oh, deputies find. Naked man sleeping at Orange City Sonic. Adam Hunt refused to put on pants. Arrested on resisting officer. Uh, deputies arrived as an Orange City man was arrested. Who uh, he? They say he was laying on top of a table outside a Sonic restaurant, naked, and refused to put his clothes on. Adam Hunt, forty, was sleeping in the nude outside of the Sonic after hours on top of a table when he tried to bite another man. A 911 caller, a 911 call, the caller said Hunt was, quote, butt ass naked, unquote. They tried to bite him as being belligerent. Can naked people stop trying to eat people in Florida, please? 
Why do I have to say that? Why do I have to say that? Welcome to my world. Also, this guy kind of looks like if Alan Tudyk did a lot of math. He does, doesn't he? I love the expression he has. It's kind of like... I'm going to leave know? on the wind, man. No, no, it's more like, yeah, I was naked. So what? He's still what naked. Do about it? Look down. He's still naked. <laughs> he, he does not wearing a shirt. He's at least not wearing a shirt. Um, Deputies arrive and ask Hunt to put on his pants. He refused and said, quote, take me to jail then and tried to fight the deputy. OK, mixed messages because you said to take them to jail. They tried to. You tried to beat him up. Come on, guy. Make up your mind. Jail or no. Put me in jail. I'm I'm naked and I try to bite someone. You're not going to put me in jail. <laughs> of all the places to pass out, the Sonic. Really? The Sonic. How inebriated must he have been? <laughs> I have no freaking idea. That's not where I got that. Well, if they asked him to put on his pants, then that means his pants had to be nearby, right? So, so he got to the Sonic stripped down and took a nap on a table. Maybe he got really warm. You know, and they were closed so he couldn't get a cherry limeade. Or something. You can't get a glass of water from the, from the staff, take the ice cubes out. <laughs> this is just... Uh. Well, that's oh, under the great. influence of alcohol. Greatest joke in the chat. Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there a thing on the website like Ask Sonic? Oh, God. <laughs> hey, Sonic, what do we do when there's a naked man sleeping outside your restaurant? That's no good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Again, Florida. Now, we just had problems with the bath salts, which, if you didn't know, was a synthetic kind of meth. It's now been made illegal, but there's another synthetic drug out there that is still not illegal. It's called synthetic marijuana. And this is not strictly a news site. It's sort of an aggregate of all the stories revolving this guy, but I think it covers it pretty well. Weird crime, a glitch in the matrix. Why is that? September 3rd, Mark Welsh noticed the world around him seemed familiar. A little too familiar. Maybe it was because his mind was finally freeing itself from the mainframe, or maybe it was because the synthetic marijuana he had smoked before going to sleep. But Mark was pretty sure that everything that happened around him had occurred in his dreams. He tried to tell his family about the fabric of reality being torn, but they were too busy being disappointed in their son's poor life decisions to listen or accept what he was saying. It was then that Mark realized he would need some help on his journey down the rabbit hole, but instead of calling Morpheus, he decided to call the Volusia County Police Department. After dialing 911, Mark explained to the dispatcher that everything that happened in his dream was also happening in the real world. It may have been a little bit serious to the fact he actually came to have written down the events in his dream, being at somewhere near Orange County, Florida. There at one time exists a piece of paper that foretold the future. <laughs> I like this guy. Um, he called the police again. Maybe they'd take him seriously. Unfortunately, his parents had hidden his cell phone to keep him from further embarrassment. He then went over to the neighbor's house to call 911 again. To be fair, <laughs> I kind of admire, like, if he were right, he'd be a fucking hero. He would. Like, if he's right and we are all jacked into the Matrix, we should be applauding this guy. Question. If everything that he's doing is happening in the real world, I mean, it's walking down the street uh -huh. and whatnot. What the hell difference does it make? Whoa, whoa, Did wait. Did he dream he was going to call the police? Yeah, that's here's the thing. Blow your mind. Did he dream that his parents were going to hide his cell phone? And then he'd have to go to the neighbor's house. But think about, like, I kind of feel for this guy, because think about how fucking terrifying that must be. Like, <laughs> you get really fucking 
fucked up on whatever and you can no longer understand reality like think about that must be real oh my god like you want to be really depressed there's actual medical conditions where people disbelieve the reality of yeah. their uh surroundings and the people around I know. them and <laughs> like that's that's a bad fucking trip dude don't do Actually, you know what this reminds me of hmm that South Park episode where uh, where Stan believes uh, Stan can't see everything in the world except his crap. And the second part of that is is like uh, uh, it's a recent episode. Well, in the last year or two. Uh, and and Stan is brought into a group of of uh, very Matrix like people who tell him, yes, the world is not real. And here's how we escape it. And and they take drugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to escape from this prison that we're in. Well, he didn't escape. <laughs> However, he was charged with abuse of 911. He was booked. Oh, in the picture of him. Ooh, oh, he kind of looks like Neo, though. Here we go. De no, he looks like the kid who was programming for Neo. Yes, he looks like Mouse. He looks like Mouse. There we go. Down at the very bottom. Oh, dear. Mark Welch. Okay. Take a look at the face of our savior. Kudos <laughs> for trying to save the world. Yes. But sh dude, synthetic marijuana, it's bad for you. It's bad for you. Marijuana is bad. Okay. And our last story this week, the headline has two of my favorite words together. Naked Rampage. Oh, Tara, you know me so well. <laughs> Naked Rampage for 200 Woo! Alex. This is also from Florida. This man, if we haven't had Florida much lately, this is making up for it like crazy. Jacksonville, it takes a taser to stop a naked knife wielding woman's rampage. And all I'm thinking of is that bit and kill bill. I rampaged and I, I roared, roared. I rampaged and I, took and I got off, bloody satisfaction and I took off all my clothes <laughs> with a yell of, quote, God is here. I'm going to repent. A woman swung a butcher knife Wednesday afternoon at someone inside Teen Challenge at 333 Phillips Highway, according to Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. She next stabbed a table before stripping down and attacking two cars. She had chased children with the blade before a taser stopped her rampage. Um, That's not how you repent. Nobody got hurt, which is the beautiful part. Mm. Except the cars and the table. And her after getting tasered. Yes. I mean, I don't have the book of Revelation memorized, but I'm pretty fucking confident that nowhere in there does it say, look upon ye works and stab the fuck out of people. <laughs> no. Not even the King James Listen. version, huh? I, I, I haven't checked in a while. Doesn't say that. Uh, you know, it's it's in one of the Septuagints, I think. <laughs> I mean, See, it's yeah, in the Apocrypha. One of, like, the Gnostic chapters yeah, that have there been you hidden go. by the church or something, but I, that's not how you repent. In fact, you're going to have to repent for that. Only add it on to the pile, and you're running out of time if it's Rapture Day. Is it a mortal sin to stab a Toyota? Well, no, but... She chased children with a knife. Well, it depends. Does the Yoda talk? Say what? Does the Yoda talk? Hmm. Yeah. But... <sighs> That's where we get into our iffy religious area right there. <laughs> I just the chasing. Does the Toyota have a soul? The the kids is the thing. Yeah, that's the big one. Chasing children with a butcher's knife. Hey, can you imagine the cop coming up on this and going, wow, if I ever had a chance to get away with using this taser thingy, today is the day. Okay, but let's imagine for a minute, because I like to sympathize with the crazy people, <laughs> for a minute that she's right and that it's fucking rapture day and Jesus is coming, get a little busy. <laughs> and Jesus shows up. And this lady's naked and threatening children with a knife. What do you think Jesus is going to say to you, lady? Good job. Come with me. Come to party at my place. No, he's going to be like, holy crap, did you get it wrong? No, 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 no. I, I get it now. I get it. It's 
you want to get see there are millions of not billions of people on this planet how do you get jesus's attention above everyone else get naked and stab people or try to stab people i'm sure she didn't mean to actually stab people but just to get his attention yes but it's it's not like jesus jesus look at me look at me not like pulling a girl's pigtails because you like her negative attention like it's not any kind of press is good press situation well, she Jesus probably wasn't negative thinking attention too clearly a, about that. The, the negative attention of the Almighty has a tendency to flood the earth and turn people into salt. People, I think you forget that people out. are stupid. Time out is fucking purgatory. <laughs> time out from Jesus is purgatory. Not a nice chair in the corner with no Teletubbies. <laughs> you need to understand what kind of what kind of daddy you're messing with there. On the other hand, these poor kids, if this was their first experience with naked women, years of therapy or religion. Wow, that's that. that. Jesus, Jesus equals naked woman chasing you with a knife. <laughs> Hello, future church of Satan. <laughs> Every time they encounter a playboy, they run in fear. Yeah, I was I, I, I was thinking they they run into the Gideon's Bible in hotels. Oh God, it's happening again. So so what have we learned this week, everyone? Uh, we learned not to put animals down your pants for any reason whatsoever, yes. especially not the poisonous ones. Many things go in your pants. <laughs> Underwear and your happy parts, not animals. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe those those medicated heating pads you put on when you pull a muscle. If you pull your groin, maybe that will go in your pants. The only snake that should be in your pants should be of the Sir Mix a Lot variety. His anaconda don't want none. Thinking the same. Everyone at home is just going off of the dun 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 dun. dun. You can't stop it right now. Um, yeah. Speaking of speaking of anacondas, uh, don't put them in your in your pantyhose either, and then store them oh. in stereos. No. And also, I think we just learned avoid animals altogether. <laughs> stay up, stay away from the nature. Just leave nature alone. It and, doesn't like you. And also, apparently, this week we learned that. Um, Apparently, the people at home learned that Florida is being eaten by snakes if they didn't know this already. So if you're in Florida, if you like to eat snake, good for you. Otherwise, get out. Um, We've learned that there are better places to be naked than outside of a Sonic. We learned that cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> we learned that Jesus does not want you stabbing people in your all together. And finally, you know, if 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 you smoke synthetic marijuana, you may think that there's a glitch in the matrix. It's not. This is normal. You but it are might not. be. You don't know. It might be. Do you? I, I'm it gonna, might be our savior. You don't know. This is some heavy Cartesian crap right here. Do you really think this is the one? This guy. Maybe. This kid. Did anybody think Keanu was the one? It's fucking Keanu. See, I always like the idea in the, in the Matrix that actually that he's not the savior, that it's Morpheus who's supposed to be our savior. I would then they had that ending and the sequels and that kind of. Ah. I would feel a lot more confident with with Lawrence Fishburne. And Keanu Reeves, I hear Keanu Reeves is a lovely guy, but, you know, he's a nice guy, but not a savior type. So that, that was the news this week. And barring the whole glitches thing, I, I apologize for that. Um, this went well. If weirdly, I, I, whoa. I don't have any, I don't have a hippo to appear. Yeah. Actually, no, I got, got better for you. Yeah. Better. <laughs> oh, hey, Poyo. Hello. So, well, I have this. You have a hippo. I have a TARDIS. You're just ashamed of your hippo. 
Oh, oh, you have a target? Uh, 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 oh, I got a Dalek. Ah! I, I, I actually have a full cast of hippos dressed as the original Star Wars, but they're all the way over there. Well, now we're getting weird. I think I think we've covered So I, I, I have a hippo who opens up to store things. Is it bigger on the inside? Well, uh, folks, thank you for bearing with us. Thank you. To, apparently, this will work in the future if I need to do this. So we can have multiple people on the show. Which da, da, da. Cool. So this this has got this has got potential. All right. This will be cool. cool. Nice meeting you, Lewis. Tutra. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, you might if, if, if we can convince Tara to come with us to uh, MAGFest this year, you might see her again. I'm hoping to make it this year. Oh, here's open. Good night, folks. Good night, everybody. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow.